New York City-based travel influencer Christine Tran Ferguson and her husband Ryan Ferguson have experienced the tragic loss of their 15-month-old son Asher. Christine shared a heartbreaking post on social media, expressing her deep grief and longing for her child. Losing a child is an unimaginable pain, and many celebrities have sadly gone through similar experiences in recent years. Stay tuned for more on this heartbreaking topic. Composer Andrew Lloyd Webber announced the devastating news of his son Nick's passing due to gastric cancer. Nick, a Grammy-nominated composer himself, was 43 years old. Andrew shared on Instagram that Nick had been transferred to hospice care after battling stomach cancer for 18 months. The entire family is heartbroken and appreciates all the support during this difficult time. Buccaneers linebacker Shaquille Barrett's two-year-old daughter tragically drowned in a pool. The incident was deemed accidental. The Bucks and Tom Brady expressed condolences. 27-year-old Harrison Wagner, son of General Hospital stars Jack and Christina Wagner, was found dead in a parking lot. The couple announced that Harrison lost his battle with addiction and started a scholarship in his name. Donations will support young men in need of addiction treatment at the New Life House. Despite their split, Jack and Christina remained close to their sons. In 2016, Jack asked for help when Harrison relapsed and went missing. Harrison was an actor, DJ, and music producer. Grammy-nominated musician Ben Queller and wife Liz Smith Queller shared devastating news of the loss of their 16-year-old son, Dorian, in a car accident. Ben described Dorian as a kind and talented soul, a true legend. Dorian was also a musician and had big plans for his future. The family is in shock and unsure of how to cope with this tragedy. They asked for prayers and support during this difficult time. Comedy icon Carol Burnett shares her heartfelt memories of her daughter, Carrie Hamilton, who passed away in 2002 at the age of 38. Carrie battled pneumonia as a result of lung cancer, which had been diagnosed the year prior. Carol reflects on their close bond and how Carrie's positive attitude inspired those around her. Despite the challenges they faced, they worked, laughed, and cried together. Carrie's resilience taught Carol the importance of making a conscious decision to be positive every day. Carol reminds us to appreciate what we have, as life can change unexpectedly. Carrie, an actress and writer, left behind a lasting legacy, including her work on the fame TV show and movies like Shag and Tokyo Pop. Together, Carol and Carrie co-wrote the play, Hollywood Arms, based on Carol's childhood memoir. Supermodel Stephanie Seymour and publisher Peter Brandt mourn the loss of their son Harry Brandt, who passed away in January from an accidental prescription drug overdose. Harry battled addiction issues for years, and his family expressed their sadness over his premature death. Despite his struggles, Harry made significant achievements in his 24 years, working as a columnist, walking runways, and launching a makeup line. Stephanie recently returned to modeling and shared her experience of wearing her late son's clothes, expressing how it helps her cope with her grief. Celebrating holidays without Harry remains a challenge for the family. Grayson Smiley Arroyo, son of former Real Housewives of Orange County star Slade Smiley, has tragically passed away at the age of 22. His mother, Michelle Arroyo, shared a heartbreaking post on Instagram, revealing that Grayson had been battling cancer since 2006. Michelle described his final moments, mentioning her attempts at resuscitation before paramedics took over. She also discussed how various health issues had taken a toll on Grayson's heart. Slade's fiancé, Gretchen Rossi, also expressed her sadness on Instagram, calling Grayson a special human being and an incredible warrior. Despite his pain, Grayson always found joy in life. Gretchen emphasized the impact he had on others and expressed gratitude for the lessons he taught. She concluded by saying that Grayson's life had purpose and that they would see him again. Lisa Marie Presley, daughter of Elvis Presley, opens up about her son Benjamin Keough's suicide in a heartfelt essay. She shares her grief, coping mechanisms, and offers advice to others who have experienced similar tragedies. Despite the devastating loss, she continues to find the strength to move forward for her three daughters.
Bachelor Nation's Sarah Heron announced on Instagram the tragic loss of her son, Oliver, who was born prematurely at just 24 weeks. Despite Oliver's strength and fighting spirit, he passed away shortly after birth. Sarah expressed her gratitude for the time she had with him and highlighted the lessons he taught about life, love, and death. Though the pain is immense, Sarah finds comfort in knowing that Oliver only knew love and will not suffer. She expressed her love for him and acknowledged his lasting legacy. 25-year-old Odeli Ventimiglia, daughter of actor John Ventimiglia from The Sopranos, has tragically passed away, leaving behind her baby daughter, Shiloh. Odeli's mother expressed her heartbreak on Facebook, thanking everyone for the support they have received. Instead of flowers, donations for Odeli's daughter's education can be made on a GoFundMe page. Odeli's sister, Lucinda, shared a heartfelt Instagram post, expressing her eternal love and grief for her beloved sister. Comedian Ricky Smiley shared heartbreaking news on Instagram, announcing the passing of his eldest son, Brandon Smiley, aged 32. As Ricky asks for prayers for Brandon's mother, siblings, and daughter Storm, we extend our deepest condolences during this difficult time. Regina King, award-winning actress, mourns the loss of her son Ian, who died by suicide at 26. In a heartfelt statement, she expressed her devastation and remembered Ian as a caring and bright individual. Now, nearly a year later, Regina returned to social media to honor her son's memory on his worth day by sharing a video of an orange lantern floating away. She expressed that Ian's spirit connects them all and that she sees him in everything around her. Although grieving, Regina continues to shine brightly as the mother of Ian, her beloved God King. Tina Turner, the music legend, tragically lost both of her children. Her youngest son, Ronnie Turner, passed away in December 2022 at the age of 62. He was battling health issues, including stage 4 colon cancer. Despite efforts to save him, Ronnie couldn't be revived. Tina's older son, Craig Hill, also died by suicide in 2018. The heartbreaking news has left Tina and her family in mourning. Actor Tim Roth and his wife Nikki Butler are mourning the loss of their son, Cormac Roth, who passed away at the age of 25. Cormac, a talented musician, composer, and producer, had been battling stage 3 germ cell cancer, diagnosed in November 2021. In a touching statement, the family described Cormac as a vibrant and kind-hearted individual who brought immense joy and hope to those around him. The grief they are experiencing is a mix of tears and laughter as they reflect on the beautiful 25 years and 10 months they shared with their beloved son. Cormac's spirit and love will forever be cherished by his grieving family. Tristan Nash, son of WWE Hall of Famer Kevin Nash, and Magic Mike actor, tragically passed away at the age of 26. His death was caused by a cardiac arrest resulting from a seizure after he abruptly stopped drinking. Tristan had recently collaborated with his father on a podcast. Our condolences go out to the Nash family during this difficult time. Richard Engel, NBC News' chief foreign correspondent, and his wife Mary have tragically lost their six-year-old son Henry. Henry had Rett syndrome, a rare and currently incurable genetic neurological disorder. Richard expressed his heartbreaking grief and love for his son in a tweet, sharing memories of Henry's beautiful blue eyes, infectious smile, and joyful laughter. Australian music star Nick Cave is grieving the loss of his son, Jethro, who passed away at the age of 30. This tragedy comes after Jethro was recently released from jail for assaulting his mother. Jethro's lawyer had revealed his schizophrenia diagnosis during the trial. The cause of his death has not been disclosed. This is not the first time that Nick Cave has experienced such a devastating loss. In 2015, his son Arthur died at the age of 15 after falling off a cliff while under the influence of LSD. Our thoughts are with Nick Cave and his family during this difficult time. Basketball Wives star Brooke Bailey shares heartbreaking news on Instagram as she reveals the tragic death of her daughter, Kayla Nicole Bailey, at the age of 25. Kayla lost her life in a car accident in Tennessee. Brooke expresses her deep grief and gratitude for the 25 precious years she had with her beloved daughter. 
Master P took to Instagram to announce the tragic death of his daughter Tidiana Miller at the age of 29. The family is grieving and has requested privacy during this difficult time. Tidiana's struggles with addiction were documented on the reality show, Growing Up Hip Hop, and she passed away from a drug overdose. Mental illness and substance abuse are important issues that need to be addressed openly. Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina Rodriguez, who were expecting twins, sadly lost their baby boy but welcomed a daughter. They expressed their deep sadness and gratitude towards the healthcare professionals. Ronaldo is also a father to four other children, and they were pictured together with their new baby sister, Bella Esmeralda. The Actor Rio Hackford, the son of, an officer and a gentleman, and, Ray, director Taylor Hackford and first wife Georgie Lowers and the stepson of actress Helen Mirren, died on April 14, 2022, in Huntington Beach, California, at 51. Rio, who appeared in, The Mandalorian, Pam and Tommy, Dream, American Crime Story, and more, died of uveal melanoma, a very aggressive and rare form of cancer, Taylor and wife Helen told People magazine in a statement. We would beg everyone reading this to get their eyes tested at least once a year, which might save their loved ones from this cancer. The couple further mourned Rio, saying they, are both inspired by the life of our son and stepson, and heartbroken by his loss. His life showed us how to live in generosity and community. He shared his life's journey with so many who now mourn him, and at the same time, celebrate their fortune in knowing him. Actor Michael Madsen's son, Hudson Madsen, tragically died by suicide at the age of 26. Hudson, a U.S. Army soldier who served in Afghanistan and lived in Hawaii with his wife, reportedly struggled with mental health. Michael Madsen expressed shock and devastation, sharing that he had no indication of his son's depression. He also voiced concerns about the military's treatment of Hudson and requested a full investigation into the matter. Sinead O'Connor, the famous singer, announced on social media that her 17-year-old son, Shane, had passed away. Shane had been missing, and O'Connor expressed her deep sorrow, calling him the light of her life. She also criticized the state hospital for allowing him to disappear and vowed to never forgive the Irish state. The heartbreaking news has left fans in shock. Host Nick Cannon revealed on his talk show that his five-month-old son, Zen Scott Cannon, has tragically passed away from brain cancer. Zen underwent surgery and treatment, but the tumor grew rapidly. Nick, emotionally speaking to his audience, shared how he had the opportunity to spend precious time with Zen and his mother before his passing. Siesta Key, star Madison Hosberg and husband Ismail, Hish, Soto reveal tragic news, their son, Elliot, was delivered stillborn at 37 weeks. Madison shares heartbreak on Instagram, expressing the love of a mother and the unbearable pain of losing a child. The couple had recently tied the knot, and had announced their pregnancy in August. Rocker Chris Daughtry's stepdaughter, Hannah, was found dead in her Nashville home. It was later confirmed that she died by suicide while under the influence of narcotics. Daughtry, who came to fame on American Idol, immediately returned home to be with his family. Both Chris and his wife, Deanna, expressed their grief on social media. The family is now taking time to heal from this devastating loss. Rapper Fetty Wap is mourning the loss of his four-year-old daughter, Lauren Maxwell, who passed away due to complications from congenital cardiac anomalies. Fetty's ex, Lisa Pembroke, shared the heartbreaking news on social media. Fetty Wap expressed his love for his daughter and assured fans she is in a better place. This is a devastating loss for the rapper, who has five other children. Selling Sunset, star Maya Vander shares heartbreaking news as she reveals the devastating loss of her stillborn son. Maya opens up about the unimaginable pain and the unexpected turn her life has taken. She expresses her wishes that no one else has to endure this tragedy. Maya and husband David Miller find solace in their two young children. Retired NBA star Scottie Pippen is mourning the loss of his oldest child, Antron, who tragically passed away at 33. Antron battled chronic asthma but remained positive and worked hard. Scotty expressed his pride and love for his son, asking for thoughts and prayers for Antron's family. The cause of death has not been revealed. 
Tragically, this is not the first child Scotty has lost, as he previously experienced the loss of another child in 1994. Sports broadcaster Ernie Johnson announced on Instagram the heartbreaking news of his son Michael's passing at the age of 33. Alongside a touching tribute, Ernie shared that Michael had lived with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and required a ventilator for respiratory problems. Despite the challenges, Michael's life was described as miraculous, and his parents expressed gratitude for the 33 years they spent with him. Ernie's message concluded with a hopeful note, stating that they believe they will be reunited with Michael one day. Dr. Laura Berman, host of OWN TV's In the Bedroom with Dr. Laura Berman, tragically lost her 16-year-old son, Samuel Chapman, in February 2021. Samuel overdosed on fentanyl-laced Xanax or Percocet that he had obtained from a drug dealer on Snapchat. Dr. Berman shared her heartbreaking story on Instagram, urging parents to monitor their children's activities, especially on Snapchat, and warning about the dangers of the opioid crisis. Despite her devastating loss, Dr. Berman is determined to raise awareness and advocate for change in honor of her son. Actor Michael Jai White reveals in an interview that his oldest son died from COVID-19 complications a few months ago. His son, who had substance abuse issues, was in the hospital for a while before succumbing to the virus. The actor emphasizes the importance of vaccination, as his son had not been vaccinated. Tragic loss for the family. MTV star Ashley Kane and girlfriend Sophia Voragi tragically lost their eight-month-old daughter Azalea to rare and aggressive leukemia after a six-month battle. Heartbreaking Instagram posts from the devastated parents expressed their love and grief, with Ashley vowing to hold Azalea in his heart until they reunite in heaven. Sophia referred to her late daughter as her angel, heartbeat, and soul, promising that Azalea would always be with her like a permanent mark on her heart. CNN correspondent Renee Marsh shared the heartbreaking news of her two-year-old son, Blake Payne's death from brain cancer. In a touching Instagram post, she expressed how he taught her strength, endurance, and love, and inspired her to keep going. She mourned the loss of her dreams as a mother and pledged to dedicate her life to fighting pediatric cancer in honor of Blake. A devastating loss but a powerful story of love and resilience. Actress Linda Gray known for her role in Dallas, announced the tragic passing of her son, TV director and producer Jeff Thrasher. Gray shared a touching tribute on Instagram, describing him as a kind, funny, and loving person. Photos showcased his joyful moments, including riding a bike and his name written on a beach. Jeff's father was the late art director Ed Thrasher. A heartbreaking loss for Linda Gray and all who knew Jeff. Bobby Brown, the R&B star, tragically lost his 28-year-old son, Bobby Brown Jr., who was found dead in his home in Los Angeles. Foul play was ruled out, and Bobby Jr. had been feeling unwell with flu-like symptoms before his passing. A devastated Bobby Sr. requested prayers for his family, expressing the indescribable pain of losing his son. The autopsy later revealed that Bobby Jr.'s cause of death was an overdose of alcohol, cocaine, and the opioid fentanyl. This is another heartbreaking loss for Bobby Brown, who previously lost his daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, five years ago. James Redford, activist, filmmaker, and philanthropist, passed away at the age of 58 from bile duct cancer. The son of actor Robert Redford, James co-founded the Redford Center with his father and made impactful documentaries on conservation and the environment. His legacy lives on through his children and his body of work. Melissa Etheridge, Grammy-winning music star, announced the devastating news of her 21-year-old son, Beckett's, death due to an opioid overdose. Etheridge expressed her heartbreak over the loss and shared her gratitude for the support she has received. Beckett's biological father is music legend David Crosby. Larry King, the legendary radio and TV host, confirmed the devastating news of losing two of his children within three weeks of each other. Andy King passed away unexpectedly from a heart attack, while Chea King succumbed to lung cancer shortly after being diagnosed. Larry expressed his deep sadness and heartfelt gratitude for the support received from his fans. Larry is pictured with his ex-wife Aileen Akins and their children Andy and Chea, as well as his son Larry King Jr., estranged wife Sean King, and their sons Chance and Cannon. 
Prince Azim, son of the Sultan of Brunei, has passed away at the age of 38. His younger brother revealed that he had been battling severe systemic vasculitis, an autoimmune disease, as well as bipolar disorder. Multiple organ failure caused by persistent infections led to his untimely death. Prince Azim was known for his philanthropy and dedication to raising awareness for various causes. His family honors his wish for transparency in sharing the details of his health struggles. Jane Badler, best known for her roles in V and Neighbors, tragically lost her son Harry Haynes in early 2020. The 27-year-old model actor, who appeared on American Horror Story and The OA, battled with mental illness and addiction. Harry's death was later determined to be the result of accidental fentanyl intoxication, as confirmed by the Los Angeles Medical Examiner. Jane expressed her heartbreaking loss and vowed to miss Harry every day of her life.